In today's tutorial, we're going to be making a small felt Christmas decoration. The items you will need are a pair of scissors, some felt, some card to make a template, a needle and some embroidery threads, some ribbon, a selection of small buttons and a few little beads for decoration. To start with, you're going to need your felt in two pieces so that you've got a front and a back and you need to draw yourself and cut out a template. Here we've done a triangle as we're going to be making a little Christmas tree. So you draw around your template and cut out two shapes for the front and back of the little decoration. Put one piece to one side and so we're going to work now on the top piece. And here I'm going to stitch in using stem stitch to make a zigzag of tinsel decoration across the Christmas tree. We have got a tutorial on our site of how to do stem stitch. So you come up from the back and through to make the stitch. Keep pulling your thread to one side, the same side each time. So go down through the back and up in front of this last stitch that you made. I'm going to change direction now. So zigzag across. So pull the thread to one side, go down the back and up just in front of the last little stitch. And up, keep pulling to tension, work your way along to create a little bit of row of tinsel across the tree. Come through. Back in, come up a bit lower down to do another zigzag across. You don't have to do stem stitch, you could always maybe do chain stitch because then it would look like paper chains hanging across your tree. Entirely up to you. We do have another tutorial again on the side that's to how to do chain stitch. Keep pulling through. Last little stitch. And through the back. So there we've got our little zigzag of tinsel across the tree. So the next thing we'll do, we'll, we'll add some baubles to our tree. So we'll get our, our little beads at the ready. And then we need to take a bead and thread it onto the needle and pull down the thread. And we make a stitch through the back of the felt to secure the bead. Do the next one, thread it through, back through the felt, and up, and up the last one. Back through, secure it into place. Our little bubbles of tinsel. I'm just going to make a little knot, wrap the thread around, 
one knot through and then snip that off and then I secure it on there. Next thing I'm going to add are a few little buttons. You don't have to use buttons, you could always use sequins, but I think buttons make a nice little touch. So I'm going to take some thread, threaded up some red here, tied a knot in the end to secure it, and come up and stitch through the holes in the button to secure it on. button, work out where you want it to go, again stitch through to keep it in place. And there you have it, gives you an idea. So you can go on to add as many buttons and beads and stitches as you like really just to give it a good decoration each time just make a knot snip it off secure it at the back so here's one I did earlier I did a few more buttons and beads and stitches so now we need to add the back and we're going to stitch together. I'm going to use blanket stitch to sew the two pieces together. So we start off sandwiching a knot between the two pieces of felt and we make a stitch over the, over the top to join the two pieces and then I'm just going to catch it a stitch up at the top of the felt there because we need to secure it there so we need our thread at the very top so then we come back down and in and through kind of through the loop that we've created and you'll get that little stitched edge along the top secure each time you come through that loop. So you come down and through the back and through, pull the needle through that loop. Just get that little stitch running along the top edge. So back through to the back, thread round to make a loop and pull. Keep your eye kind of on the distance of your stitches as well. Try and keep it an equal distance and you'll get a nice neat blanket stitch edge. Pull through. Pull that thread through there. So you need it to the loop there we go so there you've got a line of blanket stitch so you'll work your way along all the way around to make your tree once you've gone around all around the edges you actually need to leave a little gap because we need somewhere to we're going to actually add some stuffing you don't have to you can just stitch it up and I've added a, a button at the top there or so and a ribbon loop to hang it with. Just pop the needle in there. So now I'm going to take some stuffing. It's the fluffy stuffing. It's not sage and onion or chestnut. It's just to pad it out. Poke it in with a pencil. But if you've not got stuffing it, it doesn't matter, you can, you can just leave it flat. It's entirely up to you. Just poke 
the end. Making sure you get it up into the into the corners. And that just pads it out a little bit. So then now you can finish off your blanket stitch around the bottom corner to finish off and that will hold everything in place. when you come to the corner if you remember if you go back through that stitch you get a nice a nice corner rather than it being open yeah. again there are tutorials on our site as to how to do blanket stitch help you. Just go back through. Catch that and secure it at the top. And that's the last last little stitch. again wrap it around just make a little knot that'll make sure it doesn't come undone tuck that stick your needle in and tuck it through so that the the thread will actually go inside and snip it that's bridge there we go our little felt Christmas tree Christmas decoration. Merry Christmas! <laughs>